And Townsville, the fight against skin cancer isn't only fought in doctor's surgeries. The first line of defence can be found in the most unlikely of places. Hi, Fabian. Hi, how are you? I'm Deb. Nice to meet you. I love Fabian. He's literally a lifesaver. But more on that later. You see, Fabian is himself a skin cancer survivor. At 39, he's already had eight removed. And that got him thinking. The head is the most exposed part of our body, and no one gets to see that better than hairdressers. You know, I've been having my hair cut and coloured for, goodness me, decades, and I don't think I've ever said to a hairdresser, can you please check for any um, spots? I've never said that. Fabian now checks all his clients whenever he does their hair. Mainly I'm looking at bits that you can't see, like around well, your face. The bits that I can't see right now is my regrowth. Yeah. <laughs> What's really interesting about most of us have a head of hair. Um, and when you think about hairdressers, I can't tell you how many people I've spoken to who have found out they've had a melanoma by their hairdressers who were doing their colour or, you know, just cutting their hair, washing their hair and their... They're fantastic. I mean, I think there should be a program where all hairdressers go through so they can start spotting. Um, you know, different types of uh, BCCs and SCCs. But yeah, they're the ones, you, you know, you can't tell what's going on up there. I think it's really easy for us to see things that don't look right. So you're actually saving lives, Fabian? Oh, I wouldn't say I was saving lives. Well, you just, save, I you saved. save Lawrence's life. Yeah. This is Lawrence, 49, married father of one. He grew up on a farm and these days is terrified of what the sun can do. He never goes out without totally covering himself, not after how close he came to a deadly cancer spreading through his body. It was Fabian who saw something just in the nick of time. I just saw a mole that looked very suspect on the top of his head. Got home and started trying to get an appointment to see a skin specialist. But I just stumbled across Dr. Jeremy Hudson and, uh, and he had an availability that afternoon, so I rushed in that afternoon and saw him. So when I saw it, immediately there was a very ugly looking spot. We sometimes call it an ugly duckling because it stands out from the rest of the crowd. And you could say right away, that's not a normal spot. He said, it, it's coming out. I said, what now? He goes, yep. It was stage two melanoma. The severity of it, I was like, whoa. Good chance he saved his life. He can go home, see his kid. He should be very grateful for that hairdresser. I think Fabian did a stellar job. He has a right to be proud and he does a good haircut as well. Mm, Tom, all right? You're good. Absolutely Tick the box. fine. Ticked all the boxes, nothing on there. That now, can you take care of my grades? I can do that for you. <laughs> <laughs>